Okay, what's up, Legends? We live, baby, yeah. So as you guys know already, Kingdom Hearts 4 just dropped a trailer not long ago. I already reacted to it. You can watch that after this video. But first and foremost, now that the hype's dying down a little bit, well, not really, but the hype for me is like I'm chill, I'm mellow, I'm happy. I can look at this video, I can look at this trailer, and I can really like pick it apart a little bit more like as a Kingdom Hearts fan. I, I never really did an analysis video, so if you enjoy this video, like it up. Let me know that you liked it. Oops. Let me know that you liked it in the comment section. And yeah, we can do more analysis videos and I, I, I might even cover more Kingdom Hearts 4 news as we progress. Because I really, I'm really excited. Maybe even making a like a whole separate channel dedicated to Kingdom Hearts coverage. But anyway, we're going to analyze the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. Let's get into it right now. Alright, so firstly, Lost Master Arc, we know that. We know that. Let me turn it down a little bit. It is in my ear. So, of course, they already had mentioned that we're in Quadratum. Uh, let's see. What do we see out here? Do we see anything? Oh, look at these little symbols. These symbols have to mean something crazy. These symbols have to mean something. Let me see that. All right. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's not. It's there for a reason. But this looks like the apartment building or whatever that Sora was in when he first woke up. We have the the dark side materializing out here. I forgot his name during the reaction. I was just too hyped. Dark side materializing. Looking looking real ominous, real juicy. This is most likely the first boss of the game. Knowing Kingdom Hearts, Dark Side's usually the first boss. Heart resides within the soul. Look at, first off. Look at these graphics, bro. Do you see this? This is photorealistic. This is Unreal Engine 5. Kingdom Hearts. Four may be exclusive to PS5. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be exclusive to PS5, Xbox Series X, and um PC. I don't think it's going to the previous gen. I highly doubt that they're making it for the previous gen because if they do, it's gonna take so much longer to come out. And I know a lot of people don't have PS5s. Thankfully, I do, and I've had it since release. So I just, I'm just, I just can't wait for Kingdom Hearts Four. And hopefully, by the time it comes out, PS5s are abundant. But yeah, look at these graphics. Good lord. The chess piece from Kingdom Hearts 3. Choices were yours once more. And now the chess piece transitions into our boy Sora. Let's get him a, let's get him a little deeper. Let's get him a little deeper. Now, first off, that boy looks like Noctis, but he also looks like Sora. So when I say he looks like Noctis, the hair is kind of reminiscent of Noctis, like a color swap of Noctis, but it's also like Sora's hair, just like realistic. And hanging down a little bit more. His face is still like CGI Sora all the time. Sora Sora's always looked like this when he he's in CGI. So nothing nothing crazy there. He of course still has the little chain. This is a variant of his Kingdom Hearts three attire. Really, it's like a more realistic variant of his Kingdom Hearts three. He doesn't have the plaid here anymore. Uh, instead, he has like a red hood or a, a red button up under a jacket. And this time his tank top is white instead of black because remember his tank top in Kingdom Hearts 3 was black. And yeah, I mean like Sora's looking real clean, real, real crisp, real clean. They didn't change him too much. They kept his attire pretty much the same, but they 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 stylized it more for the real world. They changed it a bit. I wonder how but now that leads to the point how does he get these different clothes? Because his tank top completely changes color. So he does have to change clothes in order to get these. Unless him going to Quadratum is what just makes his clothes completely change. Because his old tank top did have like a white strip. So maybe it just changes with the, with the times. But, you know, Sora's attire always changed because of Donald's magic. That's the end canon lore to why Sora's uh, clothes change within every like world. Wait, wait, let me get that shot. Let me get that shot again. Let me get. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get that shot again. Let me look. Let me look at him and looking at me. Oh, you pretty motherfucker. Dash, you gonna have a field day, bro. Look at this. Look at the curvature. Look at the jaw. Look at. Look at it. Look at him. He's pretty. So pretty. But yeah, here you see more like. Oh yeah, this is Sora. This is clearly Sora. Just realistic. Like it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty evident. And I really. I wanted them to go the Final Fantasy route. I'm not going to lie. I wanted them to go the Final Fantasy route. Yes, I still like Disney and everything. 
And they could, of course, put Marvel. They could put uh, Star Wars because that's a part of Disney. Um, but I really wanted them to go the more Final Fantasy photorealistic route with Kingdom Hearts and have a deeper story, a more... Um, they could have the undertones of the Disney comedy, but then have a more deep story with the Final Fantasy-esque kind of storytelling. Look at his feet. All right, that's all for that analysis. Wait, actually, before, before wait. Yeah, his pants are vastly different. They're, like, not multicolored anymore. And, of course, we get the reveal of Strelizia. Strelizia. A.K.A. Marluxia's baby sister, who presumably died in Union Cross. But she's here. She's here. And she does mention... She mentions that Sora's been asleep for seven days. So this could be the first opening scene of Kingdom Hearts 4, where Sora wakes up and he's just like, Nani, where am I? And I, I doubt, like, they got... They probably didn't get Sora's voice actress or actor... No, actor. Both, both Sora's voice actors are men. So... They probably didn't get Sora's voice actor to, like, come and do any lines for this trailer yet. That's why you barely hear him. You just hear him, like, in battle quotes. So that's why you don't hear Sora talk. Like, I highly doubt he's mute or something. Or maybe that could be an interesting plot point. Just Sora's... Nah, I wouldn't like that. I, I need Sora to talk. I need Sora to be Sora. But you see his hair from the back now. It's more so slicked back than, like, spiky out everywhere. Which, again, is more photorealistic or more realistic to real life. It sounded weird, but look at the look at Shalaiza's feet. But yeah, Sora arrived seven days ago. Seven Dragon Balls, seven Guardians of Light. This is Quadratum, and look how beautiful it looks, bro. There's cars, Miyamasu. Okay, okay, world full of life. Hold on, what was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, what is this? This is moving. Look at it. What is that? This white stuff. Is this just a reflection? But why is it white? Why is this guy here? Nah, I know why he's there. He's he, he, he's staring. He should be running because if he was a black man, he'd be out. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, once again, dark side forming. Uh, photorealistic or a real life dark side. Real life, I say. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me go back to that. Let me go back to that. No, not the cakes, not the cakes. I'm not talking about the cakes. This is where the Phantom Thieves meet up to try to conquer Sora's heart. Um, he got a wing. Did he always have a wing? No, nah, I don't think he always had a wing. We might take this battle to to the mid -air, to mid air. Is that a, a Nissan Altima? What is that? He's way bigger than usual. She's telling him just, yo, get off your phone. Let's book it. Sora with the classic Sora run. That's how he runs. Reaching out, trying to summon that Keyblade. Does it easily. He'll always have that Keyblade. And now we get into gameplay. So first off, look at this load. Of, like, first off, that cutscene transitioned right into this gameplay. Second off, that boy is wearing Vans. He no longer has them big floppy clown feet. That boy is wearing some nice sporty vans. That boy is here to stay. That boy is here. Now, let's see how he moves. The jump. So I don't know if that was like scripted for him to jump in like that. Or did he the, the controller like did you just control doing that? Because it feels like you can go down this path, and I wonder, could that could Sora have gone down this path? Because there was no indication that you could jump on that. He does like a little flow motion spin, jumps on that, jumps on that, uses, okay, okay, he's going to do it again here. That chain whip, bro, look at that, look at the keyblade. So, it makes so, yo, I didn't notice that my first time around, but he's actually using the Mickey Mouse logo, the Mickey Mouse chain to like grapple. He's not using, he's not transforming the tip of the keyblade, he's not transforming this part of the keyblade, he's transforming and using the, well, not transforming, he's just using the chain, extending it, and that's so smart, that's so smart, what if you can traverse this world like Spider-Man, what if Sora can really swing around this damn city like Spider-Man because of this keychain ability, and once again, there's no indication that Sora can do this, it's probably because it's an early build of the game, and there will be, like, indications, but what I hope, I hope, like, 
things don't glow white constantly when you can do things like this, like in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, I love Kingdom Hearts 3, but it, it kind of got, like, a little weird looking when things were just glowing white nonstop. So, it's, it's, it's cool. I like this, I like this grapple. Like, him using the Mickey Mouse keychain to grapple is really dope. Look at Darkseid looking at him like, bro, you never did this before. What are you doing? This Darkseid looks so good, though. Look at him. He might not even be a dark side. He might be different. I mean, he is. He's definitely a dark side, but you never know. This might be advanced darkness. Then we got some wall running again, of course. Now this, oh my god, Final Fantasy versus 13. Look at him. Look at him slide. That's legit just Noctis, bro. If you yo, if you looking at this and you didn't see the keyblade or this HUD, that's Noctis. <laughs> And again, there this is this is telling you, hey, you can do something. And I'm guessing this little black hole is gonna be the like button prompt, like telling you, hey, press square to block. Or press X, press circle, press whatever to block. Cause this is a QTE. I hope there's a good amount of QTEs because that'd be cool. Then he uses his drill. This is the same drill power from Kingdom Hearts 3, it's just differently styled. Like, but this is his drill power when he has the uh Toy Story keyblade. The, the deputy the sheriff's deputy keyblade but he as you see he uses it with the kingdom key so maybe he inherited his abilities from all the other keyblades and he's using the kingdom key he's using it as like a conduit to use all his other abilities because of course you're probably going to get different keyblades in this game just as you always do but then again you might you might not who knows you might get more realistic swords now that you're in a realistic world they might look like swords, but they'll still be keyblades, you know? They might look more like swords, which uh, I wouldn't mind, but I, you just got to give me dual wielding. You got to give me um, Oath Keeper. You got to give me uh, Oblivion. Somehow, some way. Sky up the building. Defeats. I don't have a foot fetish, I promise. But um, we, of course, got the Master of Masters. You can tell because his arms are behind his back, which is really, just, that's just, just it's telling. That you can just tell that he's, the, like, yeah. But this could be Lushu. This could be Zigbar. This could be whoever you want to call him. This could be him. But it could also be an entirely different character. Who knows? And mention, here's to mention, we did not see Yazora in this video at all. So... Yazora might play a part in this game. He might not play a part in this game. I feel like he kind of has to be in this game at some point, but maybe maybe you don't see him for a while. Or maybe he teams up with Sora. Maybe Streliza and Yazora team up with Sora to like do some do some missions and things. It'd be really cool to see like a three human character group instead of like Donald and Goofy because Right now, I don't think Donald and Goofy are going to be like a super main part of this game. I, well, they might, they're going to be a main part of this game, but they're not going to be with Sora for a good portion of this game, which is really different because every Kingdom Hearts numbered title has had Sora, Donald, and Goofy, which I'm not mad about. I'm not mad about them not being um, here. Then we get the beautiful logo. Boom. The nice four Roman numerals. Oh my God. Look at that logo, man. Oh my god, it's so crisp. It just fits. It seems like it should be there. Yo, I can't believe we're really in an era where we're getting Kingdom Hearts 4. Like, you get me? Like, we were feeding for Kingdom Hearts 3 for what, six years? I'm saying six years because it was announced in 2013, but six years we were feeding for Kingdom Hearts 3. It finally came out in 2019. Now here's 2022, and we've been announced Kingdom Hearts 4 with gameplay. Well... Because remember, when Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced, we didn't get any gameplay. It was just a little teaser trailer with Sora picking up the Keyblade on Destiny Island. Or Master Ericus's Keyblade on Destiny Island. But now Kingdom Hearts 4, we get gameplay off rip. You hear that motorcycle? That's Sora driving by. We get gameplay off rip of Sora like fighting a dark side. We did eventually get a... Well, actually, I think in that teaser trailer, we got a little... Twilight Town teaser of gameplay, but yeah, who knows? But now we get we get gameplay off rip with this. We get a nice cutscene, a nice voice acted cutscene. We get a lot more than we did with the Kingdom Hearts three trailer. So my hopes is this game comes within the next two, within the next two to three years because 
I'm just really excited already for this game. I'm really hoping this game doesn't take forever. If it comes out next year, wow, y'all really expedited the process. Like, it depends. It could come out next year if they were working on this since Kingdom Hearts 3 released or since Remind released. I feel like they might not have though, but they could have. They could have been they could have been like storyboarding and everything. They know the story. I just hope this story's pacing is way better than 3. I love 3 like I said, but I hope this story's pacing is better than 3. I hope there's more dynamic moments than 3. I hope you can use more characters and that's leading me into this next part. It's leading me into this next part. So, all right, all right. Let me just show these two on screen. So as you see, we got Donald and Goofy. We got Donald and Goofy. They seem they seem to be in the realm of darkness more so than anything at first. But then you see that blue flame, it's clearly Hades. They might be looking, they might be trying to look for Sora in um in Hades, you know? And in, in the place Hades, not inside of Hades, you know? He's not inside of Hades. He's not giggity, you know? And then the, the flames turn red. So yeah, that's clearly Hades. But, so what I'm thinking from this is Donald and Goofy will have their own side quest mission, but since you never use Donald and Goofy and it kind of wouldn't make sense to use them, here's my theory. Here's, no, here's what I want. I'm giving what I want and then I'm gonna give my theory. My, th my, what I want is for Kyrie to travel with Donald and Goofy. Like, Ky I know Kyrie's off on the side training with Aqua, but I want her training to be done by the time this game starts, or maybe, like, she finishes it up, you finish it up as Kyrie, and then she meets up with Donald and Goofy, and they're traveling the world trying to find help to find Sora. Then Riku, of course, he's in Quadratum with Sora. So what I want from that is I want you to be able to play as Kyrie. In search for clues on how to find Sora, save Riku, and save Sora. I want you to be able to play as Riku trying to save Sora. And I want you to obviously most of the gameplay as Sora. But I want some good, wholesome gameplay as Kyrie with Donald and Goofy. Riku searching for Sora. And Sora in general. You know, that Sora gameplay already looks smooth. Of course, Sora is going to be the best character to play, the most fun. But I want Kyrie and Riku to be like really fun characters to play. I want them to be there in the game i want them to be playable now my theory is you might use mickey mouse with donald and goofy because he's also a keyblade wielder and you know you're not going to use non-keyblade wielders another thing i would want is like for roxas ventus you know all the trios to be a part of this game in some way shape or form maybe playable maybe not but i would love to play as roxas again ventus again terra aqua i would love to play as all the 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 guardians of light somehow some way that's making the game massive but still, it would be amazing. And if we get a multiplayer where you could choose between the Guardians of Light, that would be even cooler. Because we are getting a mobile Kingdom Hearts game where it does look like you can do co-op. So, getting a multiplayer in Kingdom Hearts 4 might not seem so, you know, difficult, you know? But anyway, yeah, this has been uh, DZ with a little my little first trailer analysis. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But, uh, yeah, we was live, baby. Yeah, give this video a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already because, you know, we, we trying to grow out here. We trying to grow out here. I might come through with more Kingdom Hearts 4 news as we progress in time. Uh, might, like, gear the channel towards doing more Kingdom Hearts 4, like, discussions and things alongside my other videos and other content. But, yeah, peace, legends. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe if you're nasty. We live, baby, yeah. Here's your formal introduction I'm a rare breed with several abnormal functions I'm built different The lion's out of his den Feeling rejuvenated in a new desire to win I know my heart is like a fire and pen When I'm tired I got triggers to